apparently we're ready for another balding Bible study. Because out of the videos I published yesterday, the Bible study one had the most views and the most comments and the most questions. So now I feel obligated to you to clear up some things about this. Now, the video I made yesterday was called Bible Study on Balding, Proof Men Were Bald Nearly 3,000 Years Ago, Plus Jesus Was a Norwood 2.5? Question mark. So I theorized that Jesus being a Jewish man, age 33-ish, there's a good chance his hairline looks somewhere along the lines of mine right now. I'm, I'm 36 and a half and only part Jewish, but still, I mean, whether it was a little bit better, a little bit worse, it, it was some, my, now mine's a, mine's a, a 3.65, but I, the theory two and a half, like as far as having more of the V and kind of having still the right angles going on for the most part, I mean, somewhere in a little bit better than this, as far as that, that's my theory, but here's the comments I got that are, that are, have shown some confusion. I got Darren Connolly said, Nick. I see what you're saying, but the problem is Jesus was is continuously referred to as perfect and free from Adam's sin. The main part of that sin was death and growing old. You won't believe Jesus was a perfect, fully perfect man? Or do you mean baldness is not a sign of imperfection? You've got me real confused here, and you've got me left with more questions than answers. LOL. Please clear this up. I'm curious. And then I also had another one uh, from Wings K said, How could Jesus be per bald if he was perfect? So we've got, and this is, I think, the third time in a week I've had these questions asked. So I'm going to clear that up. I think we, we need to start back with what Darren was saying. He said, you don't believe Jesus was a fully perfect man, or do you mean baldness is not a sign of imperfection? There you go, the second part of that. I absolutely believe that Jesus was a perfect man, but I do not believe that balding is a sign of imperfection. And I think that's really what it comes down to, which also answers the question where Wings K said, how could Jesus be bald if he was perfect? Well, for me, clearly, being bald is not a sign of being imperfect. It's a matter of modern day perception on how people perceive things. Not everybody thinks that balding is ugly. A lot of people think it, it's attractive. A lot of women think a guy with a shaved head and a beard, they think that that's attractive. Or just a shaved head. What about Vin Diesel? He doesn't have a beard. So. It's a perception of my audience of 2,300 subscribers, most of whom think that balding is ugly. But that's a perception issue, is what it is. Now, going back to another thing uh, that Darren had said, he said the main part of that sin, Adam's sin, was death and growing old. I'd say yes to a certain degree, but growing old in itself, obviously Jesus was born a baby, he then he became a boy. He became a man. He physically started maturing more. And what I would, and kind of to piggyback on what I just said, as you grow older, you're going to look different. There's a reason most 36 and a half year old men look more like me and less like someone who's much younger. It's part of the aging process. Now, why is it though that Certain men can be bald by the time they're 25, completely bald on top, but they live a very healthy life and they live to be 83 years old. The balding was not a sign in itself of poor health, nor is the sign is it a sign of imperfection. It's just your genes. I mean, we could we could look at several different things. We could say, imagine if you're a woman. What if you're a woman who had to worry about like upper lip mustache and you're and she was always having to wax it off and it bothered her and she thought, man, why can't I be like those other women who don't have to worry about all this, and I have all this maintenance with facial hair, this is so embarrassing. You know, is that a sign of imperfection, or is it just a sign of, you know, that's your DNA, that's maybe something to do with your ethnic background, whatever led you to be that way, whereas maybe if it was an Asian woman, she wouldn't have that issue, but I'm not trying to be funny or graphic, but Asian women typically don't have as large breasts. So what if the Asian woman said, I, I wish I could be like the, Western women who have the larger breast. I'm not saying they think that, but if, if they did. Well, but see, now we're, I think, comparing physical traits based on ethnicity and as far as what's, because again, the Asian men typically keep their hair. So are they more perfect? Are Asian men more perfect and that they're, for the most part, able to keep their hair? Well, Asian men themselves will tell you 
No, because there's more pressure if you're an Asian man to keep your hair. So it, to me, it's simply a perception issue. So, for, so to conclude our second balding Bible study, I believe absolutely that Jesus was a perfect man. I believe he was born without the sin nature. Uh, and to go to Romans 5, 12, whereas by one man sin entered the world, talking about Adam, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men that have sinned. But Jesus didn't sin, so he only died to take on the burden of our sin so that we would have eternal life. But to me, this has, it's a completely separate thing as far as balding, because I do not see balding as a sign of imperfection. And I think maybe that's a, a new point that I need to be talking about uh, here more often, as far as all that goes. Trivia, uh, what's interesting is, is it talks, it's talking about Adam and that's how sin entered the world. Notice how mankind wasn't cursed until Adam himself ate of that fruit. It didn't happen when, when the woman did. It did when the man did. There's something I believe special about the man and him being the spiritual leader. It was when he made that decision that everything fell apart and man was cursed. And notice, if you've thought about this, when Jesus was born, who is his, who is his father? Well, we know that Joseph basically became like his father. He raised him. But Mary, the virgin. So the Holy Spirit was what caused Mary to become pregnant. So Jesus' father was not Joseph. So therefore, that seed, the seed of, of, uh, of evil, of, of uh, the sin nature was not passed through Joseph because Joseph was not the biological father of Jesus. Now what's funny is if you're watching this just because you subscribe to my channel but you're not like familiar with Christian beliefs, I'm probably really freaking you out about right now because you're thinking, this is just crazy. People actually believe this stuff? Yeah, yeah, people people do. I mean, it's you can look at so many different things about Christianity and think, this does he not realize that this just all sounds like a crazy fairy tale? You know, but ultimately, for me, if I have to choose between this, which is easy for me to believe in, because I so I'm so aware that I'm an imperfect man and that all of us are, so it only makes sense that when it's all said and done, there's got to be accountability for how we live our lives. We have to make an effort every day to do the right thing and to help other people and to serve other people. So if we don't do those things, or at the end of it, what, if you're a mass murderer, you just get the, okay, yeah, if, if we just, you're welcome to the utopia, it's all cool, or it's just a black screen, we all get the same ending. I don't believe that. I believe that we're held accountable. And I believe it's a matter of us being responsible for acknowledging that we're born with a nature that caught, no one has to teach a little child to do the wrong thing, to steal the piece of candy, whatever it is. No one teaches us that. It's part of our nature. Jesus didn't have that nature. He was 100% God. He was 100% man. And together he was Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. However, because he was 100% man, a Jewish man, Jewish men who are going to bald to some degree by age 33, many of them, in theory, and this is all theoretic at this point, when I'm talking about Jesus having received a hairline, I'm just saying I see no reason in the world why Jesus would have had a perfect Norwood one with thick hair. It, that's not, but I don't think he was completely bald either because it said his, we read yesterday his appearance was nothing special. And so I think he just blended in with the crowd. He looked like every other Jewish man in Galilee and wherever he was at the time. He just blended in. He, his appearance was nothing special. So I hope that clears it up. But if it doesn't, and we need to have more balding Bible studies, you know me, you know, I'll, I'll do that if that's what people are, are uh, watching and, and finding interesting. So Jesus was perfect. He was born with no sin nature. Joseph was not his biological father because it's through the man that the sin nature is passed through, as we learn from Adam, because the man was not cursed when Eve, Eve took the bite of the fruit. It was, it was Adam. Jesus was a perfect man, and hair loss is not associated with being imperfect or perfect. There's no relation there. And I think, again, that's probably spawned me to probably talk about this more because I think that's important. It's all a matter of perception. I'm Nick Shell. All I ever talk about hair loss is hair loss. And this is the second ever Bible study on balding.